Hi, and welcome to video three of the Ableton Tips and Tricks video series. Today, I'm going to be talking about warping in Ableton Live. Now, what warping is, is the ability to time stretch and time compress audio to whatever tempo you're working at. And this is something Ableton has been renowned at doing for years because Ableton is fundamentally designed for live performance, as its name suggests. So what I'm going to show you today is actually how to sync two tracks together for a DJ set and also show you how to get it extremely tight for mixing between the tracks if you really want to. So that said, let's get started. In track one, I have a track loaded up in the first channel. What we're going to do first is go to the warp section of the sample window and I'm going to select Complex Pro. And this is a warp algorithm designed specifically for warping entire tracks. While it takes a little more CPU power, it's well worth it because it actually preserves transients better than other warp modes, such as beats or complex. Next, what we're going to do is zoom in on the waveform of the track and find the first wave hit or the first transient, whichever one you prefer. What I'm going to do is right click and select set 1.1.1 here. From there, I'm going to right click and select warp from here straight. And what this does is warp the entire track to the global tempo. In this case, it's 126 beats per minute. Now what I'm going to do is actually play the track back at a certain part that I'm going to attempt to bring the track in for a latter part of this demonstration. In this case, I'm gonna bring it in at measure nine. So let me turn the metronome on. And what we'll do is see if the metronome can tell us if the warping was successful for track one. So it sounds like the warping worked perfectly. So we do the exact same procedure for track number two. We're going to go down under the warp section, select Complex Pro. We're going to zoom in on the track. And in this case, you can see it has a very, very definite starting point. So we're going to zoom in a little bit more, go to the first transient, right click, select 1.1.1 here, right click again, select warp from here straight. And both tracks should now be ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is demonstrate some brief mixing between tracks and bringing tracks in at certain points. So you're going to see me jump around a little bit, and that is actually on purpose, just to give you guys a brief idea of how I can go between tracks and jump between them on the fly in Ableton Live. All right, so that's a brief introduction to warping and how it can actually aid you in live performance and actually how warping works within Ableton Live. So that concludes this video 
and I will see you in video four.